As you probably know, my floating panels merge request was merged and I'm done and I'm ready to move on to something else. And of course, as I always do at this point, I wanted to share with you what I'm going to work with. And first of all, let me say that when a merge request is merged, that doesn't necessarily mean that all of the work is finished. As an example, floating panels do still have a couple of bugs that should be ironed out before the final release in Plasma 5.25, which means that currently I'm working on, on fixing those bugs and that's what I'm currently doing. Nonetheless, I also have this patch, which I talked about a lot too, which is uh, the refactoring of the panel, which uh, was reviewed. Uh, there are some changes that I need to do, some uh, little details, but hopefully this will be done soon and merged soon too. And when that will be done, I'll also have to prepare market marketing material for 5.25 because I'm also in the promotion group. But when that is done too, that means that I'm actually have, I actually have some time to move to a new big exciting project. So what should it be? I currently have three ideas that have been in my mind for quite some time. So the first one, and actually before I get to the first one, let, let me plug in the fact that I do this on my free time, so I accept donations. And I mean, if you follow my channel, you, you know this at this point. So, you know, I, I and still have to show the animation with the names to, of the people who donate to me because that is so kind of them. Uh, the list is slightly outdated and for that I am sorry. However, I'm having issues with the program that actually animates it. So next time it will be full, but for now, thank you everybody. And if you want to support my work for these upcoming projects, you've got the links. As I was saying, first one is to finish this merge request properly, which is floating applets. And I've done floating panels and I thought, well, why not doing floating applets too? This is how it looks and I think it looks good. Let me scroll. And uh, the code is actually not too complex. However, I do think that I need to make it slightly complex, complexer, more complex, uh, because as an example, I would actually like the floating applets to only float for applets that are attached to a floating panel. I think that makes sense uh, or not potentially, but that should be defined in the plasma theme. However, I don't think that all applets um, should be floating. As an example, add widgets it actually uses a, a dialog. So that shouldn't be floating, that should be docked to your screen. So it still has to be finished, but I do already have some work in this. So it could be a good idea to finish this up. Alternative number two is a new activities Applet. And again, this is an idea from almost two years ago, one year and a half at this point. And I think that activities currently are an amazing idea, which don't quite work for some bugs. And I thought that maybe I should look into it. So what I did one and a half year ago is this mockup. So this here is a mockup of an applet that would make it easier to switch and manage activities. Because I do think that one of the main reason activities, activities aren't used that much is because, well, uh, you don't learn about them, you don't know they exist. And if you, even if you do, they're quite hard to manage in a nice way. So I thought maybe an applet could solve some of these issues. I would like to see this by default actually with a, um, question mark button that actually tells you what activities are. So this could improve activities potentially, I don't know. However, it has an however, which is, it is complex to implement. I, I could spend one year doing this, it could be fun, but could be complex. And activities are a concept that might, who knows, but there is some discussion about moving on from activities and bringing activities, uh, functionalities to other aspects of Plasma. So maybe if, if I work for a year on this and after a year people are like, yeah, let's just remove activities, that would be disappointing. 
maybe it won't happen. I have no idea to know. It's just that activities aren't, aren't that used anymore. So maybe it's not worth it. Just that. Third idea, last one, is a new system tray. So you've seen probably Chrome OS and the new Windows 11 and Macintosh, uh, Big Sur, the new system tray. They all have in common a system tray that is more similar to the one we find in mobile phones. That is, you don't actually have this, like the smaller applets that you click on and you have like Wi-Fi, but rather you have the system tray. And if you click on the system tray, you have an overview, a general overview. And from there you take action. This is slightly different for Macintosh, but let's not get into details. So what I was thinking to do is to actually implement this not by default because I discussed this a lot with the visual design group and uh, my guesstimate is that the VDG is mostly not interested in doing something like this. But of course I can still do this as an alternative. So you know that when you like right click and enter edit mode, you've got this show alternatives button and I could actually do, whoa, sorry. I could actually do this as an alternative to the default instant tree, like the overview tree, or I don't know what the name should be. What's the idea? I have some applets like the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth that could expose a button that you could click directly from the overview. Some could expose a slider. Some others could expo expose like uh, media notifications. So like actually seeing in the overview if a song is being played and so on. So this is the third idea, a new system tray. They are all rather appealing and uh, maybe the one I like less, even though I, I love the mockup, is the activities one. This one is very interesting because it's halfway done. So I just need to pick up the code again and actually finish it. When did I actually do this? 10 months ago, 10 months ago. So yeah, makes sense. This is a very complex project. It would may, uh, take me probably a year or so, just like for the floating uh, panel but uh, it would be fun to do. Uh, I also think that it would be super cool to kind of merge this with the Plasma Mobile notification, uh, sorry, the system tray of Plasma Mobile, which looks different from this one, obviously. And it looks much more like you would expect uh, an overview tray to be. So if I were to implement this, I would make it so that it would look and uh, probably be able, you would be able to use it both in Plasma Desktop and Plasma Mobile by scrolling from the top. So these are the benefits. These are the issues. The issue of this one is that super hard to do. <laughs> There's also other things I can do. Actually, I haven't talked about trying to contribute to the new overview. Uh, as much as I did mockups for it and would like to do it, it's one thing that's also very complex and maybe compared to these things interest me a little less. But if you viewers are super into the new overview and want me to contribute to it, then I can um, change my plans. It's not big deal, seriously. So uh, this is actually a question that I'm doing to you. I, I don't know what to do, just, I'm, there's many good options and uh, you tell me, which one do you like best? Which one you do not like at all? Is, is there anything else which is related to panels and applets and widgets that you would like to see in the Kili Plasma? And uh, I think I'll also do for still some months uh, because it, it is necessary some bug fixings in general for even like long standing um, panel bugs because I do think that bug fixing is pretty important, but that's not as exciting. So if you have some bugs that annoy you that are about the panel or applets, not something completely unrelated, feel free to post like one top in the comments. I don't want like the comments filled with bugs, but still try to be positive and you can try to raise some uh, bugs that I could uh, look at, that's for sure. I do follow the bug tracker though, so don't worry, 
if you you don't have to do that. And that was it. These are my plans, these are my thoughts, and I'm waiting to see what do you think of this.